Hi, I'm Petrifying Pumpkins, and this is 20 Things You Need to Know About Iron Man Vior. Number 1. Iron Man Vior is releasing on February 28th. 2020. After initially being set to release in 2019, Iron Man was pushed back to February 28th to possibly be PSVR's biggest release for 2020. Number 2. Iron Man VR is a PSVR exclusive. Iron Man VR is being published by Sony Interactive Entertainment, and as such, it will be an exclusive title for the PSVR headset. Number 3. Iron Man VR is being developed by Camouflage, the studio's first ground up virtual reality title, their previous work being Public, an action adventure stealth title. Number four, Camouflage's take on Iron Man will be brand new. Our Iron Man universe is not the films, it's not the comics, but their inspirations. Number five, the main villain in Iron Man VR is Ghost. Camouflage were eager to get Ghost as the main antagonist for Tony to face off against. Ghost has been a long standing enemy for Iron Man in the comics. Number six, Camouflage wanted Ghost to be female before they knew about Ant-Man's version of Ghost. The team asked Marvel if they could make Ghost a female for the sake of diversity. And I said, I swear to God. Like a year later, we are all in the theater, seeing the trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, we were like, oh my god, are you serious? To be honest, we were a little bit disappointed because we wanted to be the first group to have a female Ghost. But soon after that, we thought, you know what? This is actually helping us build confidence that we're thinking along the same lines as Marvel. Number 7. The story will see Tony dealing with damage caused by his own weapons. Tony Stark made his name with weapons development. However, it seems the villain Ghost will be taking control of those weapons to wreak havoc. Number 8. You'll need the move controllers to play. An essential part of being Iron Man is the ability to fly and Camouflage have elected to use the move controllers as the most immersive method of achieving this. As such, PSVR owners will need to ensure they have a pair of move controllers laying around if they want to play as the high-flying playboy. Number 9. Getting the flying down was the first thing the team did. Peyton said that, almost from the get-go, Camouflage figured out the 360 degree free flying aspects of the game. Number 10. Getting the hood and Tony's arms to look right took a lot more time than the flight. It was the hood of Iron Man's visor, seen in motion in a variety of Marvel Cinematic Universe films, that was harder to get right. Just as tough was making Iron Man's arms work in first person and with PlayStation Move controllers. Camouflage spent over a year and a half worth of work to get all that approved and working properly in VR, Peyton said. Number 11. Iron Man VR features combat. It's not all flying around in Iron Man VR. As Tony Stark, he'll be using his trademark repulsor blasts as well as powerful lock-on punch attacks amongst other means of combat yet to be revealed. Number 12. Iron Man VR is a proper game, not just a VR experience. We're not making a rail shooter. We're not making an amusement park game. We're not making a short demo or an Iron Man experience, says Peyton. We're making a full game with a deep sandbox, with a deep story, with plenty of great missions and great cinematics. Number 13. Iron Man VR has been in development for quite some time. It has been in development for two and a half years at Camouflage. The game was born, Peyton said, in a meeting at a hotel near E3 in 2016 after the announcement of Spider-Man for PS4. The head of Marvel's gaming division was looking for VR games, Peyton learned, and so he pitched them Iron Man. This means that by the time the game releases, it will have been in development for a total of around three and a half years. Number 14. Camouflage were inspired by Resident Evil 7 and Halo. Peyton says he and his team have paid attention to the first waves of VR games and have tried to learn lessons about what works and what doesn't. He's especially inspired by Resident Evil 7's VR mode, which he described as the best game he's played in years and refers to it as life-changing. Peyton also cites his team's prior work on Halo as an influence. Iron Man has more to his arsenal than the palm blasts and punches I tried in the demo, he said, as his team is inspired by the sandbox Bungie pioneered in Master Chief's adventures and plans to offer a variety of combat moves. Number 15. Iron Man VR and Marvel's Spider-Man for PS4 may be set in the same universe. Since Iron Man VR, like Marvel's Spider-Man, is exclusive to the PS4, I wondered if they'd be treated as operating in the same universe or even in some larger shared Marvel Games universe. That, Peyton said, is to be decided. Number 16. 
Iron Man Viewer utilizes software to allow for 360 degree tracking. One of the biggest weaknesses of the PS Viewer is its tracking. Only using one single camera to track the player means that the player usually needs to be facing the camera for the game to function correctly. This limits the player's movement. However, Camouflage came up with an algorithm that allows the software to make an approximation of where the player is aiming, even if the camera cannot see the move controllers. Feedback from previewers on this aspect has been positive, with upload viewers Jamie Feltham stating, The gameplay felt so smooth, I often forgot I was playing on PS VR. Number 17. New Suit Iron Man VR will feature a brand new suit made specifically for the game by A.D. Granov, who has worked on the Iron Man comics. Number 18. Tony's Garage. Players can expect to be seen a lot of Tony's house in the game, his garage in particular. Here players will be selecting missions, customizing and upgrading, among other things the studio want to keep a secret for now. Think of Tony's home as like a hub. Number 19. Voice Actors Josh Keaton and Chantel Barry will play the roles of Tony Stark and Ghost respectively. Neither are strangers to voice acting, but Keaton in particular has a long history as a video game voice actor, including Major Ocelot from Metal Gear Solid 3. Number 20 Pre-order bonus and deluxe edition It's not often a PS Viewer title gets deluxe editions or incentives to pre-order. Iron Man VR bucks that trend. Pre-ordering the game will get you four armor designs to equip in the game as well, as well as a theme for your PS4. If you buy the Deluxe Edition for $49.99 compared to the Standard Edition's $39.99, you'll be getting another four custom armor designs, 12 research points, which we'll assume are used to upgrade your abilities, the soundtrack to the game, and another theme for your PS4. And there you have it, 20 things you need to know about Iron Man VR. Before I end this video, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on screen right now. Their generosity is helping this channel greatly. Also, let me give special mention to the top supporters over on Patreon, Crum, Pete Hawkins, Tradition, and Columbus Thomas III. My Patreon link is in the description if you're interested, but if you'd like to help me out the old-fashioned way by liking and subscribing, subscribing, I'd appreciate that too. Finally, if you like the music in this video, then check out Decepticon.com for more of those great beats. Thank you for watching, lads and ladies. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.